Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. No importa la hora que sea, siempre es un gran momento para aprender español. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. We continue on with the subjunctive and what is so incredibly awesome. Now we know how to conjugate in the present subjunctive. We know how to conjugate any verb in the past subjunctive. So what we have now is really short and quick. We're going to start to reap the benefits of all the time we have put in studying all of our prior lessons. Okay, there are five expressions in Spanish after which you must always use the subjunctive. Present subjunctive or past subjunctive depending on which time frame you're referring to. Remember there are only three time frames. Present, past, and future. In grammar terms they call this adverbial conjunctions. That's a clunky term. Toss it. We don't need it. We just want to know that these five expressions, antes de que means before, con tal de que provided, para que so or so that, a menos que unless, and sin que without. Anytime you use them in Spanish, you have to follow with one or the other subjunctive. And they're a great way to extend a sentence. For example, we're going to go to the park provided it's not too cold. Vamos a ir al parque con tal de que no haga demasiado frío. Present or past subjunctive. How about this? Let's say a lady's pregnant and you want to say before the baby's born we need to buy a gift. Antes de que el bebé, the verb nacer is like conducir and traducir and conocer. It's a ZC verb. So the yo form is nasco, N-A-Z-C-O, this is new. Change that O to A, opposite vowel, and you have nasca. Antes de que el bebé nasca. What's new is the verb, not the process. Antes de que el bebé nasca, before the baby was born. Now you're going to go with the passive junctive. Antes de que el bebé naciera. How about before I graduate? Antes de que me gradué, accent on the U. Before I graduated, antes de que me graduara. Before it starts raining, antes de que empiece a llover. Before it started raining, antes de que empezara a llover. So present or past subjunctive, depending on what your time frame is. Okay, before we get there, antes de que lleguemos. Before the game starts, antes de que el partido empiece. Before I leave tonight, antes de que salga esta noche. Before the sun comes up, antes de que salga el sol. And of course, this is just a phrase which is part of a bigger sentence, like we're going to leave before the sun comes up. Vamos a salir de la casa antes de que salga el sol. Con tal de que... Provided it is not raining. Con tal de que no esté lloviendo. We're going to buy the house provided mom likes it. Vamos a comprar la casa con tal de que a mamá le guste. We're going to go to the playoffs provided we win today's game. Vamos a ir a los playoffs con tal de que ganemos el partido de hoy. Provided you want to, con tal de que tú quieras. Provided it's not too cold. Con tal de que no haga demasiado frío. So or so that. <clears throat> so you don't get cold. Para que no tengas frío. So you don't get hungry. Para que no tengas hambre. Eat something first so you don't get hungry later. Come algo primero para que no tengas hambre después. Study so you can do well on the test. Estudia para que puedas hacer bien en el examen. A menos que. We're going to go to the game unless I have to work. Vamos a ir al partido a menos que yo tenga que trabajar. Unless the store is closed. A menos que la tienda esté cerrada. Unless you don't want to. A menos que tú no quieras. Unless you can't go, a menos que tú no puedas ir, sin que, without anybody knowing, sin que nadie lo sepa, without mom seeing it, sin que mamá lo vea. We're going to buy a gift. No, we're going to have a party 
without mom knowing about it. Vamos a tener una fiesta para mamá without mom knowing about it. Sin que mamá lo sepa, without her finding out. Sin que lo sepa. So, before, provided, so or so that, unless and without. In English, they're so innocent. So, you're not late, leave a little earlier. Before you leave work, give me a call. Without us having enough money, we still had a good time. We use these expressions in English all the time, and we do in Spanish as well. But the, the catch, the rub, is that you always have to use a subjunctive after them. Again, the highest level of sophistication of the Spanish verb is the subjunctive conjugation. Okay, a few more. Before dad gets home tonight, antes de que papá llegue a la casa. Before we see the movie, antes de que veamos la película. Before we buy the house, antes de que compremos la casa. If I wanted to say, before we bought the house, antes de que compráramos la casa. Provided they come, con tal de que ellos vengan. Provided they came, con tal de que ellos vinieran. Para que? So that it's easy. Para que sea fácil. So that it is not hard. Para que no sea difícil. So that you understand. Para que tú comprendas. Para que tú entiendas. So that everything goes well. Para que todo vaya bien. I studied a lot so I could get a good grade. <clears throat> Estudié mucho. I'm in the past now. I got to go past subjunctive. Estudié mucho para que pudiera sacar una buena nota. I went to college so I could graduate. Fui a la universidad para que pudiera graduarme con un título with a degree. <clears throat> a menos que, unless it is raining, a menos que esté lloviendo, we were going to go unless it was raining. Íbamos a ir a menos que estuviera lloviendo. Sin que, without anyone knowing, sin que nadie lo sepa. Without anyone knowing in the past, sin que nadie lo supiera. <clears throat> For example, I do it without anybody knowing. Lo hago sin que nadie lo sepa. I did it without anyone knowing one time. Lo hice sin que nadie lo supiera. I used to do it all the time without anyone knowing. Lo hacía sin que nadie lo supiera. All right, that's the lesson. These five expressions, before, provided, so or so that, unless and without, are always followed by the subjunctive, present or past, depending on the time frame you are referencing. Check it out. There's lots of examples when you go to ProfessorPablo.com. See if you like it, and if you decide to buy it, use the promo code, type in Pablo50, and you get the whole 500-page ebook for $15. And I guarantee you it'll be the perfect supplement to what we're doing here on the big board. Okay? Gracias por todo. Hasta la próxima lección. Tengan un super gran día. Chao.